、すっきりさせてやろうか、ボスさん。Hi, everybody, welcome back to another video, and thank you all for being here. It, this is 2022, and when it comes to video games, the just genre just doesn't mean anything anymore. I want you all to meet, in case you've missed this one, a game called, actually, what was previously titled Project SAS, and now, no more than 24 hours ago, actually named Showa American Story. And let's take a quick look. Project Sass is at the moment one of the most talked about games on the horizon, and it's not for no reason. This game is right now touted as an action RPG by its developers, but if you take a closer look, the game is at the same time an open world and a hack and slasher. It's skill based pretty much in the same vein as the Dead Rising games, but also at the same time, Tad Grand Theft Auto. Like, there's this thing when you're not really killing zombies, you get to work out and do other stuff and basically tune your character the way you want. Now, story wise, I gotta admit, it also has a really unique story to go with it. So, as you can see, it's basically got a post apocalyptic premise and it's in America. Some, something has happened, and apparently, America is now an unofficial colony. And so Japan, due to its strong economy, apparently went on and bought America. And so, as a result, a lot of Japanese and that the whole Japanese culture has moved into America. And not that long after that particular event, there comes another catastrophe where there's now zombies all over the place. And you, as Choco, fight off zombies and survive. I'm not really sure if you're supposed to fight off the survivors as well. I mean, you can almost take all the basic premise of this whole game in the trailer. Now, you gotta also keep in mind that this is not finished product, so it's what you see here is a bit rough around the edges, but still pretty amazing, in my opinion, after being developed for like, what, one year? Personally speaking, I do really believe that it has all the right elements to a post apocalyptic kind of game. Story wise, gameplay wise, a good mix and a good portion of each one of those elements. You know, Grand Theft Auto specifically, because if you look closely, it looks like the game's actually faction based. Now, we don't know if there's more to that. You will be able to move around this world on a motorbike. And as I've mentioned, as you can see, you can partake in some other kind of activities like running on a treadmill, probably working out, and other stuff. Now, Showa American Story, which is developed by Nikom Entertainment, which is actually a Chinese developer, not a Japanese, like I've said earlier, is described by its developers as a love letter to 80s pop culture, which features a strong taste of B movies. You can actually go ahead and read more about this one specifically if you check out Steam. And yes, the game already has a Steam page. Also, if you've got some kind of Kill Bill vibes by watching the trailer. See, like I've mentioned earlier, this game is just a good mishmash of a handful of good premises in addition to a handful of really good elements that actually work together. Or at least it seems like it at the moment. Now, I don't know what this is. We get to see right before the trailer comes to an end. Is it a spacecraft? Is it some kind of a... I don't know. I, I don't know. Now we're talking about it because it simply has all the right action RPGs and hack and slash elements and a good quality to it as well. And Dead Rising will obviously because you get to go fight off against zombies with melee and also ranged weapons. Gameplay wise and graphically you can easily fit this game in a list of upcoming AAA games. But there's only one thing that I'm personally worried about that will be the story and how it all will eventually work out together. Now as much as I'm personally looking forward to this, at the moment there is no official release date or a release window for this one. This might go up to 2024, 2023 at least, and it is right now only scheduled to be released on the PlayStation 4, 5, and also PCs. Long story short, I would say if you have ever enjoyed a Dead Rising game, if you do like Quake Tecmo games, hack and slashers, uh, basically Grand Theft Auto games as well, do make sure to keep this one on your radar. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna let down. 
pay some what I've seen so far. It's pretty much it at the moment. There's not much else to this. If there's anything else you need to know, just let me know about it down there in the comments section. Thank you for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Peace.